Hi, my name is Andrea Forte. I work at AD&T Labs in the Security Research Center, and I'm going to show you what we call IDCrypt. IDCrypt is a technology that tries to protect your information in private and public settings, and on printed paper as well as media, electronic media. And so I'll give you a few examples. Um, here we have uh, what could be an encrypted uh, document where you have basically something that you're, you're the only one that should have access to, so you should be the only one to see it. So what we did is that we developed uh, uh, the encryption uh, for this to work as well as uh, an app that we use on the phone. You can use any trusted device like your cell phone or a Google Glass or any device that has a camera and a display. And so now I'm going to show you how I decrypt would work, you start the app, you put in your PIN, and uh, when you move it over the encrypted text, here it shows the decrypted text that is encrypted in the document. This is one example. Other examples could be, for example, uh, well, if you use uh, social security cards, where you have uh, your social, social security number that has been encrypted, now you put the decrypt app in front of it, and you get your social security number. You can imagine uh, government having access to this, where they're the only ones that can see your social security number, while, while everybody would only see this encrypted social security card. This, like I said, works not only on printed documents, but also on uh, electronic media. So you can think about passwords for websites, uh, bank accounts, uh, medical records. You can think about your ATM when you go and try to uh, withdraw money, for example. And so here I'll show you a demo where you have, through the app, you have a randomized uh, keypad, right? So here, I don't trust the iPad on which I'm showing you the keypad. So I see the, the randomized keypad through the phone. The password is one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put in, ahead and do one, two, Three and four, and I've been uh, authenticated. Welcome, Andrea. And as you can see, the the iPad or a piece of malware running on the iPad would see seven six four seven. So it didn't see one two three four, the password I put in, but it's seen seven six four seven. So they wouldn't be able to steal your PIN or password. Similarly, the last thing I want to show you is a randomized keypad where we have actually a one-time PIN embedded into it. So now you don't have to remember your PIN on pass or password, but you can just use whatever is displayed to you. In this case, the PIN 9170.